Hi everybody. I want to shoot a quick update on my Tanapoma while we are getting a look at him. If you notice on his right side, maybe if everybody gets out of the way, you can see that little tuft of white sort of fuzzy stuff sticking out the side there. I'm not 100% sure what that is. He had been sort of swollen up a little bit like dropsy. He was a little bit pine coned. And I believe one of the scales tore away or the skin got torn underneath the scale and he developed a little bit of an infection in there. And because of that, I'm not sure if that is sort of bacterial growth or if that is fungal growth. I've treated the tank now with two different types of antibiotics and neither of the antibiotics has had any impact and I'm now treating the tank with an antifungal medication but the antifungal medication says that it takes anywhere from 10 to 14 days so I'm not really sure what to do other than sit and wait I did a water change on the tank yesterday because the water was just starting to get a little grungy it's been probably close to a month since I've done a water change on this tank the TDS was up to almost 900 parts per million. That's probably got to do with the fact that I salted the aquarium. Not a lot, but I did put some salt in the aquarium just for the sake of the uh, fish being, you know, somewhat stressed out by the meds being in the tank. I've also put the medications in the tank. That, I'm sure, would add to the total dissolved solids. But when I did the water change yesterday, we brought the total dissolved solids down to uh, just under 700 parts per million. So I did remove about 200 parts per million uh, TDS. And I also sh shifted the pH quite a bit. I was kind of surprised to see that the pH was about 7.6 or maybe 7.8 when I started the water change. The carbonate hardness was only two degrees, so that was kind of unusual that my pH was so high with the carbonate so low. But there you go. I had a carbonate hardness of two and a pH of 7.8. And then after I did the water change, I brought the pH all the way down to 6.6. .6, but the carbonate hardness is still at two. So I shifted the pH by a full point, but I did not shift the carbonate hardness at all and the fish did not seem to bat an eyelash nobody seemed the slightest bit bothered by it and there you go so that was the sort of before and after of my water change and now that i have done that i need to put some medication back in the tank i'm just not sure how much to put back in the tank because i had medicated it then i found out i was supposed to wait 14 days and decided i couldn't go that long without a water change it's already been about a month and so I did a water change after I medicated the tank, and now I have to put some medication back in. Fortunately, the medication I'm using, I believe it's called fluconazole. I'm not 100% sure I'm pronouncing that right, but that's close enough that you should know what I'm talking about. I think it's fluconazole. And it's pretty harmless. I don't really have too much to worry about. And so I'm going to go easy on it. I'm not going to put a ton of it in there. But I am going to redose the tank again uh, this afternoon now that they've had a day after the water change to settle in. I just wanted to make sure everybody was okay after shifting those water parameters around a little bit. Everybody seems to be fine. And so now I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more medication to the tank. So overall, the, the Tenopoma looks like he's doing better. The swelling has gone down. He looks back to normal as far as the uh, bloating goes. Now all I have to worry about is the little bit of infection on his side, but that doesn't seem to be growing or spreading or really causing much of a problem. So as long as it's under control, I will keep on with the medication and I will be patient and not do uh, more than I need to. So there you go. All right, everybody, make sure you are subscribed. You don't want to miss any of the updates on this tank or anything else. You never know what you're going to get with me. Don't forget I do a live stream every Friday night and Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So thanks for watching this one. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you real soon on the next one.